story. It's called I Am Far Too Clever and No One Understands. <laughs> I was very happy to find out recently that I didn't accidentally impregnate myself. It would have been a baby made in love and who knows, maybe we could have raised it, fed it vegetables, passed it around relatives like a peace pipe, poured what little wisdom we have into it, but a baby isn't really part of my um, vision board. <laughs> Kids don't drink, and they haven't travelled. Plus, I don't much fancy being condemned to motherhood, but being honest now, what really concerned me was that my first fleeting feeling on seeing that positively negative result was disappointment. Not the disappointed howl of my uterus bereft yet again of a baby to make, but disappointment at a missed poetic opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucked. I know. This subconscious yearning for a light suffering to squeeze some art out of, but we need life experiences to write about. Art about everything going generally well is vanilla. It's a smug Christmas newsletter. It's Christian rock. Imagine if can't get no satisfaction was just a double negative and they were bragging. I feel a certain pressure to produce my depression like it's a party trick, to milk my misery like it's a cash cow and poetry is rarely profitable. Have you ever read a poem about your dead gran to a pub full of drunk men who couldn't give a fuck about you? Or your excellent use of metaphor. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, elusive emotional vulnerability. A pure note cracked in the throat. I want to smoke too much opium and pound my fists on cobblestones in open squares with everybody looking. I want to be shot by a lover in a barroom brawl taking place inexplicably in the 18th century. <laughs> I want to look at life receding through the slow rear mirror of a car that is always leaving the ocean, my only pair of shoes. I want to weep beneath each available willow tree because I am far too clever and no one understands. <laughs> I do understand, though, that there is nothing glorious in feeling bad. And getting myself accidentally pregnant would not have been poignant. It just would have been shit. <laughs> Cheers.